Coming up on the Lady Walker Show, guest host Pastor Terrell Brinson sits down with Assistant Pastor Gregory Harris and teaches God's desire that we prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. All this and more coming up next. Lady Walker Show. I'm Terrell Brinson, sitting in for Lady Walker on the Lady Walker Show. And today, I'm glad to have as my guest, Gregory Harris out of Macomb, Mississippi. Gregory, how are you today? Excellent, good to be here. Man, it's so good to have you with me tonight, man. Uh, I'm kind of getting used to this. I, I really appreciate <laughs> uh, uh, Lady Walker for allowing me to sit in for her. <clears throat> and uh, I've been blessed so far okay. uh, to have uh, great speakers to come and today I'm just extremely honored okay. to have you take out of your busy schedule you're such a busy young man being a pastor and an entrepreneur in your own right okay. and you wanted to come today to share with us about uh, financial prosperity for the people of God mm -hmm. and so <clears throat> I wanted to ask you uh, what is one thing the Bible teaches us about wealth in the hands of Christians well, there are many things that the Bible teaches, um, mm -hmm. but one of the primary things that we can find in the scripture is where Jesus told the disciples to go and to evangelize the world, yes. go and preach the gospel. Okay. And in order to do that, in order to evangelize the world, mm -hmm. it requires money, it requires wealth. Yes. The people of God are to finance the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And one of the ways to do that is to seek the will of God for our lives, mm -hmm. to know where we should be and what He has called us to. Yes. It is my belief that many Christians are designated by the Holy Spirit to be business owners, mm -hmm. to be entrepreneurs. But we have become comfortable uh, in the various uh, uh, jobs that we have. Mm -hmm. Whereas we should be seeking what the will of God actually is for us. Yes. Uh, because the wealth of God in our hands will allow us to do the things that God has appointed for us to do. Yes. And that is awesome. That is most important for us. Yes. So ultimately then, uh, believers really need to be in a, uh, a, a, really, a, a really a teaching ministry and not just a preaching ministry. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. The word hath even declared that a, a, a preacher should be out to teach. Absolutely. Because teaching is so very important in every ministry because, I mean, you know, if you don't take the time to break it down mm -hmm. where everybody can understand it. In other words, uh, being a pastor, if I just preach, if all I do is just preach mm -hmm. at the people mm -hmm. and uh, don't break it down to where they get an understanding, uh, then a lot of time they'll spend years mm -hmm. not even understanding or realizing mm -hmm. that right. it's our God-given responsibility to tithe mm -hmm. and then to sow seeds into the kingdom Absolutely. because the Bible says you shall reap what you sow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, preaching uh, proclaims, mm -hmm. but teaching explains. Uh -huh. So it is absolutely necessary that the ministry be taught to believers. Uh, yes. We are preached to all the time, but yes. it is necessary that we have godly teaching. We need to be taught of what it really means to tithe and to sow seeds. Yes. Because every time I tithe, I'm actually sowing seeds. Yes. It is my belief that that is one of the reasons why God has given the principle of tithing. Mm -hmm. That 10% is allowing us to actually sow. Mm -hmm. And whatever we sow in turn, the scripture says we're going to reap. 
Yes. So believers should be in the business of tithing and also sowing yes. because it is most important. Whatever we put out, it does come back to us. Yes. Kind of like a farmer who goes out and plants a garden or a field. Mm -hmm. Well, he always gets a bigger harvest than what he planted. That's right. <laughs> a much bigger harvest. <laughs> yes. And right. that is what Christians ought to realize and need to realize is going to happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. But if I am stringent with what I have mm -hmm. and will not sow, will not tithe, <coughs> will not give, mm -hmm. then I'm actually put a, putting a limitation on what the Word of God says is going to happen in my life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, the Scripture teaches us that if we will honor the Lord with the first fruits of our increase, mm -hmm. it says that our barns shall be filled with plenty and our presses will burst out with new wine. That's the word. So I'm expecting as a believer, as a tither, as an offering giver, mm -hmm. I'm expecting new wine. I'm expecting my barns to burst out with plenty. Yes. Why? Because God will always honor his word. Christians Man, must know that. That's such a blessing. Now, what about, uh, Pastor, when, when a person is faithful in tithing, mm -hmm. and I've been in ministry now mm -hmm. long enough to see it both ways, mm -hmm. What happens, what do you say to the person or persons that has been faithful mm -hmm. in tithing, mm -hmm. but it seems like uh, uh, the windows have not opened up for them, mm -hmm. and uh, they're even, they've even been faithful in, in sowing seeds, okay. but it seems like the increase is not coming back. Mm. What do you say to those people? T to those believers who are faithful in tithing, first of all, everyone needs to make sure that they are born again and they know the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, they are faithful in tithing and they're sowing seeds. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus also mentioned where you sow is important as well. Wow. If I am sowing and I'm planting my garden in a bed of rocks or in a sand pit, I got you. well, I'm not going to get a harvest. Okay. I've got to sow in fertile ground. In fertile ground. So believers who are not seeing an increase, mm -hmm. are not seeing the blessings of God come forth in their lives as it should, they must examine, well, where am I sowing? Am I sowing in the right place? I think every day, every believer ought to seek the will of God for their lives. Yes. Am I about and doing what the Lord would have me to do? Is my family worshiping uh, where we should worship on Sunday and on Wednesday? Mm. Are we doing the things that the Lord would have us to do? Mm -hmm. This is in addition to tithing and sowing seeds. Mm -hmm. Am I sowing in the right place? Because again, if I am sowing in a place that's not productive, yes. I'm still not going to get a harvest. Wow. Well, man, this is some real good information for believers uh, and non-believers alike. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, it, it all it never fails that when you're uh, having fun at something, mm -hmm. even discussing something, it don't be long before your time run out. I understand. So we're going to be out of time in this segment in just a few moments. But um, uh, th th there's still a remnant mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get ready to break in a second. But there's still a remnant out there that goes to... Word churches. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about they, 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 I mean, they're, they're, they're sowing in fertile ground. Mm -hmm. But I've heard of some of them still having problems reaping their harvest. Okay. Uh, I may have to ask you to speak to that when we come back. Okay. But just kind of hold that thought in mind because, like I said, I've been here, uh, out here not long enough, and I've seen Paul okay. say, I know how to abound, I know mm -hmm. how to abase. In other words, uh, I've seen it both ways, <laughs> you know. I've seen it both ways when it looked like I'm doing my best to be faithful mm -hmm. in, in the things of God. And then it's still a little tough. But when we come back, we're going to we're going to wrap it up. We're going to come right back in just a few minutes. I'm here with my guest, Pastor Gregory Harris, and uh, we'll be back in just a few moments. We're going to take a break. We're back. I'm your host, Terrell Brinson, sitting in for Lady Walker of the Lady Walker Show. And I'm honored tonight to have as my guest, Gregory Harris. Man, it's good talking with you, man. And uh, uh, earlier we were discussing uh, about uh, financial perspective for Christians mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we ended up, I was asking a question about what about, what about the group of okay. believers that's out there that that's sowing mm -hmm. in good ground. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, they're, they're in word churches where the okay. word is being preached as well as taught. Mm -hmm. And they understand sowing and, and, and receiving harvest. They understand, mm -hmm. understand Galatians 6 and 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Be not deceived. God is not marked whatsoever mm -hmm. a man soweth. Mm -hmm. That shall he also reap. They understand the scriptures because they are, they are taught mm -hmm. very well. Okay. And they, they understand sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that remnant that's out there? And I don't know if, you know, the recession has had anything to do with it, anything, but I've talked with a number of okay. people that's actually sowing in good ground, mm -hmm. but it's still seemingly taking time for okay. them to reap a harvest. What do you say to encourage that group of or believers? Or for the manifestation to actually come forth. That's right. Yes. Well, it, it's interesting that you would ask that because um, the Bible does teach us to uh, not to faint. Yes. Uh, we shall reap if we faint not. Yes. Um, I would say to every Christian, mm. first of all, to make sure that they are where the Lord would have them to be. Yes. Uh, it is possible to sow in a, in a in fertile ground, mm -hmm. but that may not be the ground that you ought to be sowing in. I see. It's very possible. Uh, even the, the Apostle Paul, as you know, did move from place to place mm -hmm. as the Holy Spirit led him. Yes. So it is necessary that, that Christians be where God has appointed that we be. Wow. Uh, whether we want to be here or there or not, yes. it is important that we be in a particular place. So, so to the, that remnant who are not seeing the bounty take place mm -hmm. in their lives, mm -hmm. I would say to them, do not give up. Yes. Do not faint. Yes. Continue to be faithful in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Tied. So honor the Lord in your giving. Uh, worship and serve him with all of your heart. Mm -hmm. His word is true. He will not allow the righteous to go unrewarded. Yes. So as a Christian, continue, continue, yes. and yes. make sure that we are where we ought to be. That's good. That's good. Well, my next question, and it's kind of like what we're talking about now, but it, mm -hmm. my next question is, why are so many Christians not possessing uh, okay. God's wealth? Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I look at in the Bible is the prophet Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's a good example of what it means to walk in the will of God and possess what God has for us. Yes. Uh, of course, you know the story of Daniel. He was taken as a captive or slave into Babylon. Yes. And Babylon was, at that time, ancient Babylon, was a wicked and at the same time a luxurious place. Mm -hmm. Well, Daniel saw it necessary to honor God in all that he did. Yes. He did not abandon his righteous upbringing and what he had been taught concerning the scripture. Mm -hmm. So he enters Babylon, refuses to uh, partake of what the king had given them, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And God honored him for his stand. Yes. And so he lived in Babylon for more than 70 years. Yes. And he was a prosperous man all of that time, he and his family. Yes. So, so every Christian should understand that God's purpose and will for our lives is there. Mm -hmm. You and I must gain and take possession of it. How do we do that? We do so through our faith. Mm -hmm. We do so by honoring God with our lives and mm -hmm. walking in righteousness. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what's going on around us, we yet must be faithful to the Lord. Yes. Because the world that we live in is, is governed by spirits of greed mm -hmm. and unrighteousness and yes. wickedness. Yes. Well, Christians are called upon not to partake at the same time yet to possess what God has given us. Yes. And we can. Well, uh, so often I see so many miserable Christians. Okay. Because I see I, I, all the time, man, I, I, I see this uh, false humility. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mm. I, you, you hear mm. them say, well, I'm happy with Jesus alone. Okay. And, you know, we know we love Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the one that we ask to come into our lives mm -hmm. and, you know, as our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. But in the world in which we live, mm -hmm as we are here in these United States, we need U.S. currency. Yes, we do. For us to be able to survive. Yes, we do. So a believer mm -hmm. that's saved that don't have no money, mm -hmm. the, most, of the, most of the smiling is fake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, because, mm -hmm. because see, if you can't get your bills paid, right. you're miserable. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. And so I just wish the people would just really be honest. Mm -hmm. See, you just be honest and you know, see, in order to be a a, a whole mm -hmm. Christian, mm -hmm. nothing should be missing, yes. nothing should That's be right. broken. That's right. Jesus is the head of my life, mm -hmm. but I need money. Yes, we do. In order to be able to operate, in order to be able to to fund the kingdom, mm -hmm. in order to be able to provide for my family, 
it takes money. It does. You can't go down to energy with a hallelujah. No, you cannot. Not and expect to get your bill mm -hmm. paid. Mm -hmm. They'll say, well, I'm glad you're a Christian, but now you still <laughs> need some money to pay to give me a check or a credit card or something, you see. So, so the thing that I'm seeing right here is uh, uh, there's more to there's more to uh, uh, more to it than just meet the eye. Yes, it's there. You can't sit back and just wish you had it. No, no, you can't. But you have to you, you have to stay in the word of God. Yes, you do. As well as read other forms of mm -hmm. other books and mm -hmm. other information mm -hmm. to obtain wealth. Yes, you do. We have to be able to do that. What, what's your take on that? Well, we've got to pursue what the Lord has for us. Yes. And one of the scriptures that come to mind is the widow woman who uh, went to uh, the prophet Elisha yes. when her sons were about to be sold. Yes. Uh, the creditors had come uh, and said, your husband left you in debt and you need to pay the bill. She yes. did not have any money, yes. but she had uh, a cruise of oil in the house. Mm. And he asked her, well, what do you have? She said, I have a little oil, a jar of oil in the house. Yes. And he said, that's enough. Yes. And he told her to go and borrow empty vessels yes. and bring them forth. Mm. And she did that. So what did Elisha do? He touched and agreed with her in faith. Yes. And he prayed and asked God for the increase in her life. Mm -hmm. And the increase came forth. Yes. I believe that many Christians are out of touch with other believers mm. who will actually strengthen their faith. Yes. One of the tricks of the devil is to divide and conquer. If Christians are isolated and are not in fellowship with other believers who will touch and agree with them. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible, as you know, teaches <coughs> us that one can chase a thousand and yes. two can put 10,000 to flight. Yes. So it is necessary that as believers, we touch and agree. You're praying with me, I'm praying with you, and we are in agreement for the will of God in one another's lives. Yes. Uh, man, this is this is good stuff. Amen. And like I say, our time just <laughs> keeps running out on us, look like. but. We're going to prepare now to take another break, and when we come back, we'll conclude our conversation uh, as we seek to uh, uh, show believers how to uh, receive the wealth that God really wants us to have. We'll be right back. We're back. I'm your host, Terrell Brinson, sitting in for Lady Walker of the Lady Walker Show. And my guest today is Pastor Gregory Harris. And we've been talking about financial pro perspective for believers uh, in the church and uh, reasons why some can't seem to grasp okay. wealth. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think we ended up last segment uh, talking about uh, why so many Christians are not able to possess God's wealth. Uh, Hosea 4 and 6 kind of alludes to that some, somewhat. Yes, it does. He, he mentions in Hosea, in fact, the Lord tells Hosea that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, many Christians have not been taught or have not been informed according to the Bible, what the Bible actually says concerning their lives. Yes. It is the will of God that you and I finance world ministry. Yes. It is God's will that we spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And in order to do that, it requires the finances necessary to do that. It is my belief that Christians are to be business owners, that we are to be entrepreneurs, so that we are in a better position to do the will of God. Yes. If we are, then the will of God will be achieved. Yes. It is our responsibility to seek the Lord as to where we should be and what we should be doing in our lives. Mm -hmm. Daily we should seek Him. Okay. Well, as a believer, if I'm, if I'm not experiencing mm -hmm. the wealth of God mm -hmm. in my life, mm -hmm. and I'm a believer, and mm -hmm. I, I've been in, in ministry okay. and in church for years, and I've, I've you know, uh, I understand the mm -hmm. teachings of God, and I understand about sowing and reaping mm -hmm. and all that. And if I'm not reaping or harvest, mm -hmm. if I'm not receiving the uh, uh, wealth or the finances of, of God in my life, mm -hmm. what should I do? Well, I, I think of three R's when I think about Christians and the wealth of God. Mm -hmm. I think about repentance, mm -hmm. I think about restoration, yes. and, and I also think about um, realignment. Mm -hmm. It is 
it is necessary that Christians repent because there in the book of Second Chronicles 7 14 yes. uh, the scripture makes it clear <coughs> that if my people that are called by my name yes. will humble themselves and pray and seek mm -hmm. my face and turn from their wicked ways mm -hmm. then will I hear from heaven mm -hmm. forgive their sins and heal their land yes. so there is nothing that God will not do in the lives of his children if we are a repentant people yes. it is his will that we be restored Yes. Okay, yes. so there are things that all of us have missed, but mm -hmm. there is a scripture that tells us that God is the God of restoration. Mm -hmm. He desires to restore us to the positions in Him that we should be in. Yes. I believe that in this time in which we're living, there is what I call Holy Ghost realignment taking place. Yes. I believe God is realigning, realigning wealth and other things on behalf of His people. Yes. You and I have got to understand and know the will of God for us so that we can walk in what he is doing. If we do not know, if we do not understand his will, then I will miss so very much. Yes. A whole lot. Yes, e even in the book of Deuteronomy, the Bible, the Lord said, I've given you the ability Absolutely. Absolutely. to get wealth or mm -hmm. to create wealth. Mm -hmm. Believers have to understand that we are made according to Genesis 1 and 26. That's right. God uh, spoke and said, let us make man in our image after image, our likeness. Right. There is greatness down on the inside of every, every one, of, one us. of us. Every one of us. And I believe, brother, it's our job yes. to uh, encourage the people mm -hmm. of God and non-believers alike mm -hmm. that there is indeed greatness down Absolutely. on the inside of you. Absolutely. But you have to do like Paul told Timothy, man, the gift that's down on the, on the inside, stir it up. you got to stir it up, man. Absolutely. I mean, that greatness is down on the inside mm -hmm. of you. You got a part to play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got Absolutely. a part to play in in stirring it up That's that right. that the the uh, the wealth of information that you got the That's visions right. and the mm -hmm. dreams is down on the inside They'll of you. Forth. You can go forth with it and cause them to burst open yes. and and bring forth a uh, harvest, financial mm -hmm. harvest into your life. Even uh, you know speaking to your body if you're going through something Absolutely. by faith Absolutely. And, and and watching God heal you by faith. Absolutely. There's so much on the inside of us, but we have to encourage each other. Mm -hmm. To, to know sometimes just the spoken word absolutely will, will, will change will some, trigger uh, things. change a person's outlook yes it will uh, and always that spoken word yes. uh, if you will note that is what the Lord did in Genesis he yes. spoke a word That's and right. created everything yes okay yes. and it is the same way in our lives today I believe that we do not have because we do not know the scripture wow. we do not understand the word of God yes. we are following the trend of the world system Mm -hmm. And that's what Christians cannot do. Wow. Daniel did not follow the trend that was in Babylon. That's he right. saw it necessary to remain true to his God, yes. to honor his God, to serve his God, to obey his God. Yes. And God made sure that Daniel was always in a position of financial prosperity. Wow. For 70 years, yes. Daniel was a success, but he never <clears throat> abandoned his God. Wow. The world system... Of, of making it, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. is buying and selling. Mm -hmm. The kingdom system is sowing and reaping. And reaping, absolutely. If you sow it, you will reap it. Absolutely. There's a scripture that we have the church now standing on, and we've been on it now for weeks. Mm -hmm. Mark 11, 23 ah. and 24 mm. says, Verily, verily, I say unto you thee, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, absolutely. Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, mm -hmm. and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things Absolutely. which he saith mm -hmm. shall come to pass. Absolutely. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Whatsoever. Said. And then Jesus didn't stop there in the mm -hmm. next verse, mm -hmm. in the 24th verse, he says, Therefore, mm -hmm. I say unto thee, mm -hmm. what thing soever you, you desire when you pray, desire. believe that you receive them, and, and ye, ye shall, shall have, have them. them. Brother, the Bible says in Numbers 23 and 19 that God mm -hmm. is not a man that he, that should, he should lie. lie. Absolutely. We as believers have to know that if Jesus said it, mm -hmm. brother, it Absolutely. is so. Mm -hmm. It is. It's so it no is. matter what. It is. It's so if somebody doesn't believe it. It's it still is. so. It is. But if we'll grab hold to that word of God and begin to walk it out by faith Amen. and begin to speak to all the things that's against us and mm -hmm. hindering us mm -hmm. and speaking it uh, forth, mm -hmm. we can still have exactly what we say. Once again, our time is out. We're getting ready now to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about this because this is good. Amen. This is good stuff. When we right. come back, we're going we're gonna to conclude um, with my guest, Pastor Gregory Harris.
We're back. I'm Terrell Brinson, sitting in for the Lady Walker of the Lady Walker Show. I've been honored tonight to have as my guest, Pastor Gregory Harris. Man, it's been awesome. You had something that you was trying to conclude on that last segment. What were you saying? But uh, Matthew 6, that we should seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Yes. One thing I would say to every Christian is, what are you seeking? Wow. If we are simply seeking wealth, mm -hmm. then we're not seeking the proper thing. That's right. We must seek the will of God. Glory. And in seeking the will of God, all these things shall be, shall added, be added unto us. Yes. God, as you said earlier, is not a man that he should lie. He is going to honor his word in the lives of the believers. Yes. But we must seek his will yes. and his way. Yes. That's all right, brother. Thank you again, man, for being here with us, man. It's been so good. I tell you what, it, it never fails that, uh, well, you even hear the world say when you're having fun, you know, times <laughs> run out when you're having fun. But when you're engaged in this kind of conversation, okay. trying to get the people of God blessed, you never have enough time to do it. Thank you all for being with us on tonight and viewing the Lady Walker Show. Uh, we ask that you would just tune in from time to time whenever she's on, and I'm honored to be her guest on tonight. I'm Terrell Brinson, your host. My, my, my guest is Gregory Harris, and it's been some kind of awesome pleasure being here with you. And whatever you do, say something to make somebody laugh, because the Bible says, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth up the bone.